So what you want to do is you open up Blender. So usually you get a default cube already had the already had Blender open. So what you want to do is you click X and delete it. Then after you scan yourself in in Polycam, what you want to do is you can either download or export your JOTF file or OBX file or FBX file and then email it to yourself, airdrop it to yourself, it doesn't matter. Um, so once you open that and have it saved on your computer, what you want to do is go to edit or file, import, GOTF file. I download mine as a GOTF file because I think it uses the textures already. Like I don't know about the FBX files. I think you have to add the textures yourself. But anyways, open the GOTF file, go to where you had it, I already have mine open I'm not going to open it again so just to make everything faster um, so when you have it it'll pop up uh, right here solid but it'll be low poly until you shade, shade smooth it so I already have mine shade smooth as well so how to shade smooth is click on it and then shade right click and then click shade smooth and then after that click Z and then go to render and then it should pop up with your model and then after that how to get your basic meta rig you have to make sure it's enabled so you go to edit preferences and then in preferences look up rigify rigify or rigging and then click the check mark and either refresh it or however um, so once you do that, you want to click shift, you want to click shift A and then go to armature and then basic and basic, uh, rig. So you would have to do some scaling. So how to do that, just click on your, uh, armature, click S, scale it up somewhat like towards your head or whatever. You can see that it looks like it's inside the body. So what you want to do is make sure you click on your armature and click tab so you can go to edit mode and then click in then inside of in on tool you should click x act or actually that's wrong but x axis you want to do that anyways but under your skeleton down here right over here you want to click visit uh, viewport display and then click in front and then it should bring to the front so after that the x axis the X axis mirror, why I had that on is because if you click on a bone, let's say the wrist, you can move both sides instead of just doing one like this. So if you did that, just be moving to one. And right click, right click so you can exit out of it so you don't mess up any of your movements. There is a bone right here. You click on it. There's this bone right here. If you move it, out of its place the rigging is not going to work and a lot of people don't tell you that so what you want to do is uh, with that just kind of grab both of them and just move it at once let me redo that so do not just click the bone by itself because if you deconnect that then you have to go back and reconnect it so anyways um what you want to do is basically start lining everything up. So click one, grab the foot, start moving it. Grab right here, start moving it. Make sure it's aligned, just like where you think your knees would be. Uh, the hip bone, uh, something like that, something like that. It's kind of bogus right now, but it'll work. And the pose I'm in is an A pose, not a T pose. I get that. I found out that a T pose is more for if you're like uh, doing more animations because your your elbows or your shoulders go up higher, so you don't lose geome geometry. So if you're in an A pose, it's really for gaming in a sense because you're really just not you're really not going up and down. You know what I mean? So. I'm in a 
I'm in the A pose because I'm really only just gonna be doing basic movements for like movies and stuff, if you know what I mean. Start rotating it, rotating it, click G, R to rotate, and then make sure you're just lining everything up. I'm doing this kind of slow, but the scanning wasn't too good, so I just, I had to Gotta make do with what I got. I don't know why that, oh yeah, the axis is not one. I'm like, what the heck, bro? Basically, you just wanna line it up just, just where you think it looks right. Um, click seven. I have screencast on too, so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Line the wrist up to where you think the wrist would be, elbow up to where you think the elbow is. Shoulder blades, kind of right here. Uh, I think I got the head and the neck kind of, I think I got the head and the neck right. The nipple bones you don't need, so just grab it, click and drag, click X, then delete. You don't really need those. Um, make sure this is back. I'm gonna push that back just a little bit. And again, this bone, do not move it by itself. Do not click the circle and move it by itself because if you deconnect it, you're gonna mess everything up. So make sure everything's kinda somewhat where it's supposed to be. It don't have to be perfect. Um, the perfect the better, obviously, but again, it don't have to be too perfect. Then, so once you get it lined up to where you think you like it, that looks right to you, you know what I mean? Uh, that's not right to me. I need to take these bones, move them back. I had to do these without the x axis because the way my feet were placed, but it should be alright. Uh, that looks pretty good to me. Um, so, what you want to do is Click tab, get out of edit mode. So you wanna click your armature, and then you click your model, and then control P, or is it? Oh, you click your model first, and then your armature, control P, with automatic weights. And then it should, when you go to click tab, then go to pose mode, when you grab a bone, it should move. Uh, let me see. You can rotate around it. The, the geometry, you can move the head up and down. You can move the neck. For some reason, I know that looks crazy, but and there is like better tutorials like showing like like actual um, uh, anatomy of like the body you know what I mean so you can there's like a constraint and all that you can use to animate the body and all to where like the knee comes up like properly with the leg but um, that's a whole another level of blender. I'm just showing the basic, basic, which I'm sure a lot of people know, but zero at the bottom over here, and then click the record. Make sure you're looking at your armature though. Um, click record while you're in pose mode. You can click record, grab a bone, and kind of you'd have to do this with the R and like rotating. 
click R on your keyboard and rotate slowly and then it should track what you record it. And then let me show you. So drag it to the beginning and click A to so deselect it by clicking on it and click A to select it. And then to add the keyframes that are missing in the middle, hold shift and alt and click uh, O and it should add keyframes in the middle. Then uh, usually what I do is I split it right here at the top right. You see the little crosshairs, split it vertically, move it over and go to graph editor. You can see the graph of what you recorded. If you zoom in and then from here, deselect it by clicking it, click A again to reselect everything and then hold shift and alt and then start tapping O and it should or actually I like it's all and O I'm sorry all and O that you just switched and it smooths it out so you can do this as many times as you want my computer only lets me do it only lets me tap it so I have to tap it it won't you could probably hold it on yours but anyways smooths it out so once you're back over here control space bar full screens it I'll meet the rig and you can see like a basic movement I know it looks basic and crazy but my mesh for some reason my mesh kind of messed up but the other armature I did as you've seen on my TikTok didn't mesh wrong like that I don't have to figure out why it's doing that but anyways that's just a basic tutorial hopefully you guys can take something and do something with it but yeah